tonight. These four people need to compete for the prizes of a lifetime on... The Price is Right, presented by Imperial. Imperial is unconditionally guaranteed to taste like the 70-cent spread. Yes, unconditionally guaranteed to taste like the 70-cent spread, yet costs so much less. And by Dove, the amazing new bath and beauty bar that creams your skin while you wash. And now, your host on The Price is Right, Bill Collins. Oh, oh. Welcome to you, too. As a matter of fact, welcome to everybody to The Price is Right. You folks at home are going to have your chance to bid for our fabulous showcase, which you'll see just a little bit later on. But as we usually do, let's do it now and meet four nice people. To begin with, we have our current champion, Mr. James Harkenrider, a salesman from Fort Wayne, Indiana. This is his second week, thus far $6,747 worth of merchandise. Jimmy, I, I don't think I asked you in all the excitement last week if you had any children, do you? Or have no, you? no, Bill, you didn't ask me, but I'm sure glad you did this evening because that, that's really my favorite subject because I got two beautiful little dolls at home. Hey. Little Kathy, yeah, <laughs> and Kathy. about three, and Patty, one and a half. I'm not allowed to do that, am I? Oh, no, you're not. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, well, uh, uh, I'm waving at a couple dolls, too. You know oh, your yeah, names out there. Now oh, then. Yeah. Let's take a follow Miss Patricia Murray, a housewife and saleswoman from Huntington, Long Island. What do you sell, Pat? Uh, I sell encyclopedias, Bill. Oh, for goodness sake. But I don't do it too often because I have two small girls, too. A Kathy and a Susie. Oh, you have a Kathy and a right. Susie. Mm -hmm. Well, now, let's say hello to Mr. Harry Moore. He was uh, working for the United States Army and currently, I imagine, or originally from Greensboro, North Carolina. How long have you been in the Army, uh, Harry? Uh, not quite three years, Bill. I'll get out in January, and my wife will sure be glad of it because we're going back to school then. Oh, you're going to get out of the Army and then go back right. to school? Mm -hmm. All right. Good luck to you. Mrs. Janice Davis, a housewife from Buford, Georgia. And what does your husband do, Janice? He's a hatcheryman, Bill. A what? Hatcheryman. A hatcheryman? Uh -huh. He and his father hatch baby chickens. Well, that sounds like a real good idea, just sitting around all day. Do they sit on eggs or do they use the electric system? They use the electric system. I just wanted to check. Before we start the game, I'd like to give each of you a wonderful gift from Lever Brothers, a full year's supply of Dove. Full year's supply for each and every one of you. Now then, let's play the game. I think you know how it works, but I'll go over it quickly. You bid for the merchandise we present. It goes to the person who bids the highest without going over the actual retail value. Big winner at the end of the show comes back again next week and takes on a brand new challenger. Understood, everybody? All right, now, panel, we have a real unusual item coming up, one that I think you'll be intrigued with. Watch the turntable. Here it comes. Tell us about it, Don. A complete hobby wall. A custom-built unit designed by Lee Brexler and Fred Sandell that measures 12 feet long and 7 feet high. It consists of three sections, each devoted to a different hobby. First, a jewelry section with a rolling work table, a kill for enameling, and look at this, gem-cutting craft tool. Next, a photography section that includes Bell & Howell movie equipment, an 8mm camera, and a new auto-load projector that loads itself in less than three seconds and reverses at the flick of a lever. Plus, developing and enlarging equipment. And just watch this. To form your dark room, just push out the sliding wall. The last section is a complete pottery shop that has a built-in pottery kill and a craft tool potter's wheel. An original custom-built hobby wall for the whole family. Price Authority, Lee Drexler Design Associates, New York. Thank you, Don. You all know Tony and June. This is Mr. James Crumrine. Jim, thank you ever so much for your dem... Thank you ever so much, Jim, for everything. And, uh, stop. Uh, anyone, uh, care to... Is there a... Uh, well, anyway, there is... <laughs> all right, you can at least throw in a clean towel. Now, uh, panel, there is the fabulous hobby wall right there. Oh, that's fun. And now I want to tell you that it is worth exactly $3,458.20 complete. That is the price. Oh, this is fun. That's the price of the entire hobby wall. Now, it can be yours if you make the best bid for just one of the items in that hobby wall. And this is it, the camera. Now, Don Pardo, will you please give us all the details on that, please? 
Very happily, Bill, it's the 8mm Bell & Howell Perpetua Electric Eye Movie Camera. It has a three-lens turret, and it's a completely automatic design which requires no adjustment for exposure settings indoors or out. Price authority, Bell & Howell, Chicago. All right, now, whoever makes the best bid for the camera wins the hobby wall with everything in that. You understand? You're bidding only for the camera, but the winner gets the whole wall. We begin with our champion, Mr. Harkenrider. You start anywhere you'd like, sir. It's pretty. Well, I hope I can start. I want this so bad I can almost taste it. I hope you don't uh, taste that clay I've had all over my hand. <laughs> uh, I'm going to start the, uh, the bid out. I'm going to bid... Uh, Let's start it out at $35, Bill. <laughs> you hedged a little bit there. Mrs. Murray, where would you like to begin? Uh, I'll say $50. $50 to Mr. Moore. I'll say $60, Bill. $60 to Miss Davis down there. Um, I'll say $95. $95, says the lady from Buford, Georgia. Mr. Harkenrider, sir. I believe I'll bring it up to $110, Bill. $110, says Mr. Harkenrider. Miss Murray... That buzzer means final bids. Now, you're 50, top is 110. This would be your final bid, if you want to make it, of course. Mm -hmm. um, I'll say, uh, I guess 149. How much? 149. 149 is up there for you. Mr. Moore, you're 60, top is 149, your last bid, if you care to make it. Uh, Bill, I'll say, um, well, uh, yes, sir. $85, Bill. Uh, no, Mr. Have Moore. To go higher. You have to go higher than $149 or stay where you are at $60. I'll freeze, Bill. Freeze. Mrs. Davis, you're $95. Top is $149. Uh, uh, this is your last bid. You do not have to go up. You may freeze. Or you may go over $149. I'll freeze. Mr. Harkenrider, you have the last bid. You're $110. Top is $149. You may do anything you want. Either go over or stay where you are. I believe I'm going to freeze. Bill. You are? All right, the bids are done. Now, the audience was yelling for a freeze, and they got it from everybody. Let's read the prices. $110, $149, $60, and $95. They're the prices, and let's take a look in the envelope and see what we have. Actual retail value is $129.95. The audience was right, Mr. Harkenrider. You got the camera. And the whole wall to go with it. There you are. $129.95. Thank you. You're welcome. And of course, you win a bonus. Now, in addition to everything else, you won the camera, you won the entire hobby wall, now comes the bonus. You ready for it? Uh, I hope so. Well, now, you got yourself a unique hobby wall, which should keep you busy or occupied for years to come. Do you have much time for hobbies? Tell me the truth now. Uh, no, but I'm going to take the time, or I'm going to try to take uh -huh. the time. Well, we want you to have time, because, you know, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. So, to give you more time for your hobbies, you're shaking a little bit there, aren't you? <laughs> Just a little bit, I don't bit, blame Bill. you. Is your wife here this week? <laughs> she sure well, is. Last week, she came up on stage, didn't she, when yes. you went? Yes. I just wanted to know this week, you're holding hands with a lady next to you there. We want you to take a little time off from your job, because, hold tight, we are going to pay your salary for the next three months. There you are. And that's it. Now, I want you to know, you're going to have your salary paid, so if during that three months period you decide to take a trip, that three months salary we talked to you about will be paid to you in First National City Bank uh, uh, checks. Your, your three-month salary will come to you by way of First National City Bank checks, uh, and it'll be available through your lo local bank. Happy three months free work to you, Mr. Harkenrider. Congratulations. Thank you very, very much. much. You're welcome. Thank you. That's not bad at all. We're going to have we're going to have another exciting item. If what you want is strong, healthy hair, what you need are. Panel, are you all set for this one? I'll tell you what. I'm, I'm going to ask you to follow directions. Now, first, everyone, turn and look directly to your left. Now, turn a little further and look directly behind you. Here's our next item going up for bids on The Price is Right. Keep looking. Don't turn, and there it is. A dramatic rug. A beautiful, original design by Edward Fields. And loomed of the finest carpet wools in a striking geometric pattern. Brilliant turquoise and rich pumpkin accent the soft beige background and it's finished all around with handmade fringe this handcrafted rug measures 15 by 18 feet and will be a luxurious addition to your home if the price is right price authority edward fields incorporated new york that's a beautiful thing is it not 
And I hope a lot of people are watching in color, because it is. Miss Murray, it's going to be a one-bid item. Mm. One bid and one bid only. We begin with you, position number two. Fifteen by eighteen, give me your bid. And did he say wool? Did he say what? Wool? Uh, Don, did you say wool? Yes, Don said wool. He always says wool. <laughs> no, it is wool. You go ahead, Miss Murray, give us a one bid. Oh, gee, let's see. Um, five seconds. Okay. Um, I'll say uh, five sixty. Five six zero. Oh. Mm. All right, Mr. Moore. Over, under, anywhere you want to go, sir. Bill, I think I'll build. build um, Make up your own mind now. Seven hundred and fifty dollars. Seven fifty. You got it. Miss Davis. Any number you want to name. I believe I'll build um, six fifty. Six fifty. Mr. Harkenrider, you're the last bidder. Top is 750, low is 560, your bid. Anywhere you want to go. There's no minimum on this. Nope. Uh, nope. No. Anywhere you want to go. Top is 750, I'll bid 751. 751. Okay, let me read them down. The bids from left to right 751, 560, 750, and 650. It was a one bid item. It goes to the person who bid the highest without going over the actual retail price. Now hang in. Hang on, someone's going to have the rug. Actual retail value, $1,980. Mr. Oh, Martin Ryder for two in a row. $1,980. There's your price tag right there. <laughs> you might end up in trouble with your wife. Well, you just, keep... <laughs> he said he's going to end up kissing the lady next. Yeah, well, we'll see. Oh, incidentally, Mr. Harkin Ryder, this new rug will be transported to your home by Allied Van Lines. Wow. All right, now everybody gets set because here it comes. Your turn to do some bidding at home. Take a good look at the seven glamorous items that make up the showcase because everything you're about to see can be yours if you make the right bid. You ready? Okay, then. This is what you're bidding for. A medley showcase. The music is played on this magnificent pipe organ, a compact, self-contained instrument of genuine pipe organ tone from the Artiste line of M.P. Moeller Incorporated, Hagerstown, Maryland. It has 280 speaking pipes enclosed in an open resonance chamber designed in ebony finish with Chinese red interior. Pipes, mechanism, and wind supply in one unit and a separate two-keyboard manual console in matching ebony finish. The medley continues with Valley High, which means a cruise to the South Pacific. A 42-day romantic voyage for two aboard the glamorous, fully air-conditioned SS Mariposa or the SS Monterey of the Matson Lines. Your stateroom is twin-bedded outside room 108, a delightfully appointed sitting room by day, a restful bedroom by night. 42 days round trip from San Francisco to the romantic sites of Tahiti, Samoa, Hawaii, Fiji Islands, Australia, and New Zealand. The tune is Smoke Rings for this exquisite cigarette box. A custom design in sterling silver adorned with 36 assorted semi-precious jewels, each individually star set. I Love Paris, symbolized by world-famous Arpege perfume by Lauvin. Three ounces in this beautiful imported deluxe black bottle. The medley continues with I'm going to sit right down and write myself a letter. At this handsome desk set, five pieces, custom made of genuine calf leather with antique finish and 23 karat gold hand tooling. The song, You Want to Be in Pictures. The prize, the Polaroid 150 Land Camera Kit, complete for taking extra sharp 60 second pictures indoors and outdoors. The kit includes the new model 150 Land Camera, that features a coupled range finder, automatic viewfinder, and develops its own clear pictures in 60 seconds. Finally, let's get away from it all in a new car. A 1959 Ford Convertible, the Fairlane 500 Sunliner with white sidewall tires. A bold new design with a powerful Thunderbird V8 engine, flying V styling in the rear, and these additional extras. Automatic transmission, radio, heater, and wheel covers. A wide-open, sleek new design to complete this medley showcase, which can be yours if the price is right. All right, now, these are the seven items in the medley showcase. You add them up and send us your total estimate to the penny for the entire showcase. Our dust bunnies hiding under the chair is dust so thick. Now then, everybody all set? Thank you for your patience. Take a look at the gold curtains over there to your left. Take another look at the gold curtains over there to your left. And one more look, and look again, and whatever you do, continue to look at those gold curtains over there on your left as we get... Keep, and here's our next item that goes up for bid. Oh. 
What's your bid for this exciting Lambretta motor scooter? A sturdy design imported from Italy that is complete with rear seat and a sidecar. It's powered by a five horsepower, one cylinder, two cycle engine, is capable of speeds up to 50 miles per hour, and has a fuel consumption of 105 miles per gallon. The whole family will be scooting about town if you make the most accurate bid. Price Authority, Innocenti Corporation, New York. Grazie, Don Pardo. Now, let me, just in case you couldn't hear because of the sound of the engine, it's imported from Italy, has a rear seat there and a sidecar, five horsepower, one cylinder, two cycle engine, 50 miles an hour, and gets 105 miles a gallon. We begin the bidding with number three. That is Mr. Moore over there, currently on duty with the U.S. Army. Boy, Bill, I could really use that in the Army going you back sure and could. forth. It'd be great to take on marches, wouldn't it? <laughs> it sure would. <laughs> Put my rifle right in that little car there. Yeah, I don't blame you. Nice. Start out any old place, Mr. Moore. Uh, I'll bid uh, three hundred dollars only, Bill. Miss Davis. First I'll bid four. Four, four hundred. Thank, thank you, Mr. Harkin Ryder. You may underbid first time around, but you freeze, you know. I believe I'll bring it up to, to six hundred, Bill. Six hundred, Mrs. Murray. Over to you. What's the low bid, Bill? Low is three. Top is six. Make up your own mind. Oh. Five Let's seconds, ma'am. Say 649. Mr. Moore, you're three, top of 649. You may go over or stay where There's you are. There's no minimum, Bill. No, no, sir. Um. Five seconds, I'll, Mr. Moore. I'll go to $700. Seven Bill. even, thank you. Final bid. Miss Davis, you're four, top of seven. This is your last bid if you care to make it. I'll bid a thousand, Bill. Even thousand. Mr. Harkin Ryder, you're six, tops a thousand, your last bid if you care to make it. I believe I'll freeze, Bill. Miss Murray, you're 649. Top 1,000, your last bid. You don't have to. You... I'll freeze, Bill. You may. Mr. Moore, you have your choice. Top 7. I'll freeze, Bill. Okay, top's 1,000, you're set. Here are the bids. $600, $649, $700, $1,000. There's your motorbike right there. It's not a motorbike. It's a motorbike with a sidecar. Actual retail value is $500. Everybody has overbid. I am sorry. I guess the only thing we want to explain to you in a case like this is you have to bid carefully as if you were shopping with your own money. And there's another thing I perhaps shouldn't explain to you because it will make you all feel very badly, and that is, I can't show it to you, but there was a real dues of a bonus on this one that we're going to have to forget about now because we don't give the bonus, of course, unless the item is won. Okay? I wish I could tell you about this. It's a great one. I'll put it in here. Let me remind everybody that our bids are instantaneously recorded on our tote machines made by the American Totalizator Company, a subsidiary of Universal Control Incorporated. A good time, too, if I may, for two more reminders. One is Price is Right tonight, as every night on the nighttime show is being telecast in color and in black and white. And while I have this second, may I use it to good advantage to ask all of you, please do not write directly to me for tickets. Write to NBC Ticket Division. Do not write directly to me. And uh, we do not choose contestants by mail, which might save you the trouble of writing there. Now then, uh, we'll be back here in a... Young people need challenges. As house mother of five... If you're all set, so are we. Get ready, take a look behind you, and let's see the next item going up for bids on The Price is Right. A new house. A five-room, prefabricated, pan-abode house. The woodland design made of fine cedar logs with an asphalt shingle roof. The entrance porch has a charming rustic cedar door. And inside, the large living room is tastefully designed with a picture window. Off the living room, there is a dining and kitchen area which measures almost 17 feet by 9 feet. There are three bedrooms with built-in closets to complete this charming prefabricated five-room cabin which will be your new home if the price is right. Price Authority, Panabode Incorporated, Kennedale, Washington. Now, incidentally, panel, if you win this Panabode house, you just name the place and we will erect it on your land. But a reminder, you are bidding only for the prefabricated house. It does not include the cost of erection, although we will uh, erect it for you. We're just thinking of the house itself. We begin now, we're going to ask for an opening bid of at least a thousand. You can go over that if you want. And we're going to start with number four, which is Miss Davis. You start anywhere you want. Oh, I sure could use that. I've been wanting a new house for a long time. This will do it for you, I'll tell you. <laughs> Give me I'll an opening. I'll start the bid at um, 3,000. We now come to a $100 bid minimum. Uh, uh, you must bid at least $100 over the preceding high. However, first time you may underbid and freeze. Mr. Harkin Ryder. 
I think I'm going to underbid, Bill. You may. I think I'm going to, going to bid uh, 2500 And that's a freeze there. Miss Murray, you are only concerned with the 3000 top. You are ready to bid now at least 100 over if you're going over. I could use that, too. It would be a nice beach house if I had a beach. All right. Five uh, seconds. 3100, right? 31. Mr. Moore, 31 oh, is top. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 31 is top, Bill? Yes, sir. Uh, I'll bid 32, Bill. 32. Miss Davis, 32 is top. Um, I think I'll freeze. You may. There are two of you left in the game, Mrs. Murray and Mr. Moore. You're 31, top's 32, Miss Murray. I'll say 33. Mr. Moore, you're 32, top is 33. I'll go to 34, Bill. Miss Murray, you're 33, top is 34. I'll say 35. Mr. Moore, you're 34. Her top is 35. I'll freeze, Bill. And the game ends right there. The bids from left to right. Let me review them. $2,500, $3,500, $3,400, and an even round $3,000. All right, hang on. Now, I have my own idea on this one. Of course, I'm very seldom right. I am this time. Actual retail value, $4,000. <laughs> One hundred and forty-five dollars. The winner, Mrs. Murray. Congratulations to you. Forty-five. There you are. All the winning. All the winning, incidentally, has been done on this side of the panel tonight. Is that not right? It's all been between Harkin Ryder and Murray here. Uh, where are you from, Miss uh, Murray? By the way, uh, Huntington Long. It looked beautiful out there. That's all. Right in the backyard. I beg pardon. Right now, backyard. Put it in the backyard, and you have two houses on one lot. Have you not? You got yeah. a spot for it? No. We'll pick out a spot and get I'll to work. To we'll have the final scores for you and the name of the big winner as soon as our tabulation is... What I'm about to show you could dramatically change the way you think about caring for your teeth. This may Yo Network. Next up, it's Trivia Track, followed by What's My Line, then It's No Lie, It's To Tell The Truth. Now then, it's time for the final accounting to see how everyone made out, so let's go to our old accountant over there. Don Pardo, what's the score? Here it is, Bill, with our overbid and all. Mr. Harkenrider has won the camera and the hobby wall and the three-month salary check and the rug for a total of $7,063. And Mrs. Murray has won the house for a total of $4,145. And Mr. Moore and Mrs. Davis, we're sorry that both of you didn't win anything, but we have for each of you this new Flightline portable TV set by RCA Victor with lean styling and mirror-sharp picture. Congratulations to both of you. And Bill, no doubt, our champion. No doubt about it, with $7,063, Mr. Harkenrider, last week's champion, has successfully defended his, cha his championship, and he'll be back with us again next week. Congratulations, Thank Mr. Thank you Harkin. very, very, You're very much. Welcome. Thank you. In your Thank team, you won $13,810 worth of merchandise. Mrs. Murray from Long Island, our thanks to you for being with us, ma'am. You did very well with $4,145. Our you. thanks also to you, Mr. Moore, and uh, to you, Miss Davis. It's been our pleasure. Now then, Mr. Harkenrider, you did pretty well. In two weeks, $13,810. Is your wife in the audience here with you tonight? She certainly is. She yeah. must be pretty darn proud of you along about now, is she not? Well, I, uh, I don't believe I'd be presuming if I'd say that she is, yes. I know darn well you wouldn't be <laughs> presuming because I'll just bet she is. Uh, I suppose she'll let you out of the house next week to come back and defend your championship? I believe so, yes. And uh, we'll give I, you an... I can guarantee it, as a matter of fact. All right, we'll give you a written note when it's all over. Mr. Harkenrider and I will be back. Game Show Network wants to hear from you. Our viewer information line is open 24 hours a day. Please call us at area code 310-364-2060. We hope to hear from you soon. You join us again next week when The Price is Right will be brought to you by Spidell. We'll see you then or tomorrow morning on the daytime Price is Right. Thank you ever so much for being with us. This is Bill Cullen saying goodbye, everybody. Stop in again. So long. The Price is Right has been brought to you by Dove, new bath and beauty bar that breathes your skin while you wash. And by Whisk, the liquid way to your family wash. Lever Brothers unconditionally guarantee satisfaction or your money back. Transportation for tonight's guest was arranged by American Airlines, American choice of experienced travelers everywhere and famous for the Mercury, luxury leader in the world of flight. Gowns by Susie Perrette. The Price is Right is a Mark Goodson, Bill Hoffman production in association with the NBC television network. This is Don Pardo speaking. Stay tuned now for the Craft Music Hall in color, next over most of these same NBC stations.